Earlier today, the Department of Justice, joined by 15 states and the District of Columbia, sued Apple in the U.S. District Court for the District of New Jersey for violating Section 2 of the Sherman Antitrust Act. Over the last two decades, Apple has become one of the most valuable public companies in the world. Today, its net income exceeds the individual gross domestic product of more than 100 countries. But as our complaint alleges, Apple has maintained monopoly power in the smartphone market not simply by staying ahead of the competition on the merits, but by violating federal antitrust law. Consumers should not have to pay higher prices because companies break the law. If left unchallenged, Apple will only continue to strengthen its smartphone monopoly. If they have all, like, the evidence, like, I would probably support them because it does seem very arbitrarily high. If you are not happy with the price, you don't have to buy. And Apple is a company to make profit for their own. So I don't think it's a big deal. It's kind of unfair, personally, to me, um, just to keep it high. But at the end of the day, they did monopolize the iPhone first. 